What up, it's EOB, Way of the Warrior. This weekend, it is UFC on Fox 2. You're gonna have three fights that are gonna be on free TV on Fox. You're gonna have Damian Maya taking on Chris Weedman. And Chris is undefeated, 7-0. He is 3-0 in the UFC. Damian Maya technically has three losses. Not technically, actually has three losses. Mark Munoz, Nate Marquardt, and the champ, Anderson Silva. So I have no idea why Vegas opened as Weedman as a favorite, but um, Ken always tells me not to go against Vegas. That said, I think I'm still going to go against Vegas. I'm going to take Damian Maya. In Speaking of Mark Munoz, it was originally supposed to be Chael Sonnen and Mark Munoz. Mark got hurt, and then enter the Bisping. Uh, Bisping is going to be taking on Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen has been going around all this week with a, uh, I guess, fake middleweight championship belt. <laughs> That's not your belt. <laughs> Well, whose do you propose it is? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? What do you think? I just woke up and went and took it from him? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Of course it's about. And his promos have been stellar, like this one. So, if Kenny Rice could tell the truth one time, if Kenny Rice could pretend to be a journalist, pretend to get a fact right, he has 30 minutes. He has to talk eight minutes. Boss Rutten does eight minutes, and then the fighters and commercials take up the, the, the balance. And above and beyond all of that, I just think he's way too much for Michael Bisping. I'm going to take Chael Sonnen in this one. And the main event for UFC on Fox Part 2 is going to be Rashad Evans testing the young Phil Davis. Phil Davis is 9-0. Rashad Evans, twice as many fights as that. He has obviously been much busier because he's got to start earlier in the UFC. He's been tested against some heavy, heavy-handed individuals. That said... Um, I think the 10 month layoff of Phil Davis might actually help him because he's so young he's had some chance to learn some stuff and he's been working on his striking relentlessly and that is really going to be the difference. I actually think Phil Davis is a much better wrestler than Rashad Evans um, but striking wise I'm going to give the advantage to uh, Rashad. All of that said, I'm going to pick the upset because I'd like to see John Jones and Henderson first. So I'm taking Phil Davis to beat Rashad Evans at UFC on Fox 2. It all goes down Saturday night on Fox. You can catch all of our coverage on Twitter and Facebook. Search Wild Show. We'll catch you again next time.